Hey everyone, and welcome to more videos about the goblins what I made. I'm Vicky, the human female behind Armoured Brownies, and I'm showing you some of the accessories that I made to go along with these goblins. The hands. But whilst I'm sculpting before your eyes, I'd like to thank everybody so far for subscribing and showing interest and support for this work. And to anybody not yet subbed, please do subscribe to the channel. I promise I won't disappoint you. And give this video a like. It really helps out a lot. The first thing to mention is that the hand armatures are life casts of the subjects I was making these for. Since they were for dwarves and little people from the Minimen, each one of the two people who hired me had slightly different shaped and scaled hands, so I had to cast their hands using alginate and plaster so I could get accurate things to sculpt on. As you can see as well, I've used some scrap wood and some plumbing connectors to mount these to mount the cast to sculpt on. These hands weren't much of a complex sculpt, just just exaggerating features on the hands, adding warts and basically setting up a casting process so I could cast latex hand covers that could be painted and have hairs added to the warts. This was a complex casting procedure however that I ended up screwing up pretty badly by simply not thinking ahead. Instead of being careful and doing two part moulds for each of them, I overextended a single side of the mould and ended up wrapping the sides of the plaster slightly over the edges of the sculpt and armature, meaning to get the moulds off I had to break the cast hands I had made, also meaning there was no chance that I would get to try again without recasting the hands, which at that point wasn't an option. I'm all for failing and trying again, but when, but when you have one shot like this, do be careful, as I kept as I came out with a subpar mould no, and no plaster cast hands to try it on again. However, I was able to recover in the casting process and painting and finishing it, it came out with, I came out with a workable product, so it wasn't too bad, it was just much less than ideal. Okay, I hope that was informative and interesting. Join me for the next video where you'll finally see the painting of the full head masks, all airbrushed and everything. Thanks for joining, thanks for being with me through this. Hope to see you soon.